Welcome to another episode of Field Phone Ops. Today's episode, we're going to look at making trunk dial-up phone calls on an SB22 switchboard and the different methods and things you can use to do that. So stand by and learn something. Okay, my previous video, I looked at using a TA955 right here connected to this SB22 to allow you to take the SB22 and hook it up to a commercial phone line and patch phone calls. Well, that's not the only option there is. I've done other videos where we took a uh, 838 or a 312 and we made phone calls with it. We're going to go ahead and go a little bit more in depth of how you do that right now and another possible option you may want to use. I'm not going to hook this back up again to make the uh, the calls. Well, I'm going to do this. I'm the first one we're going to use, we're going to use a TA-312 with a TA 955 dial unit on. These are pretty uh, reasonable to find. I had a lot of trouble finding this. This was uh, not really expensive. It cost about $75, but trying to find one was really a, a deal. But these, I've seen several of them on eBay, cost roughly $40 and connects on the phone. Also, you can hook this phone up like this direct to your normal wall phone. It'll work. But we're going to use it right now to make phone calls from the SB22 dial up phone calls. Basically, we have it plugged into the emergency operator switch or terminals on the back of this, and it's actually functioning as the operator console. It doesn't provide any ringing or anything. Ringing is still done right here if you need to ring and answer calls. All it provides is the audio connection, and also, in this case, we'll provide the dialing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick it up. I'm going to call my cell phone with it. So here we go. Test one, two. Test one, two, three. Test one, two. Test one, two. Test one, two. There we go. Works. Okay, we'll go ahead and hang it up. So basically, what we did, we basically used this right here to make the, uh, the dial tone and provide the audio, okay? I'm not going to call back the other way, nor am I going to patch phone cords. The other option you have is to get rid of the 312, we'll slide it out of the way here, and use a TA-838. We hook the TA-838 up, it's set for two wire, local battery, which means you've got to have all four batteries in it. And it's going to basically do the same thing as the 312 did, except it's an 838. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick it up. And we'll take it off hook. There we go. Got dial. Okay, here we go. There's a couple of keys on my pad that are certainly getting not good. Test one, two. Test one, two. Test one, two, three. Here we go, and that's it right there. I'll go ahead and hang it up. There you go. So that's another option for connecting up a trunk card to make phone calls using a dial-up line. But like your most people like me, I don't really want to waste a phone to have it hooked up like this just if I want to make a few phone calls. So I did think of another option yesterday when I was actually doing the video where we used this. I thought of another possible option that we're going to look at right now. 
the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the 838 and it won't get it out of the way. And I'm going to take and I'm going to remove the TA955 from the TA312. Now basically, these basically function the same as you can see. One of them is just a little bit smaller. I also discovered that if you take a U79 connector, which looks like this, and wire it up to pin C and D, and clip it in here like this, you can use it to make dial phone calls. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to wrap the wires. Uh, if, this was, if I was really going to deploy this and use it more often, I would probably take and connect this gray wire directly up to the back of the switchboard, but I don't want to have to tear everything apart. So for our purpose, we'll just go ahead and wrap these up like here to make contact and basically make some phone calls. Now, in this situation, all this, the dial pad is pro providing is just dial tone. It's not doing any talking, so we've got to have a handset put on. Get that out of the way. Put our handset on there, okay? There we go. Okay. We're good to go. Now we're going to go ahead. We're going to take the phone off hook. So we get dial tone. Got dial tone. I'm going to dial. And there you have it. So basically you can take and build one of these cables and use one of these by itself to do the dial up portion and not have to worry about wasting a TA312 with one of these on or an 838. The main thing to remember is you just can't hook a normal wall phone up. This, this, this dialer's actually got batteries in it so it provides its own power. So that's the key. So that's why this works. So uh, like I said, this is an option for you. If you don't want to waste one of your other field phones or an 838 to make calls or you have trouble finding one of these, go ahead and order one of these off eBay. Like I said, the uh, about $40 connector right here is about $10. Pin C and D and you're ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.